hello in this video i am explaining 28 size uh, three tucks pattern blouse it is uh, called as a three dots or uh, normal cutting or cross cutting the measurements are like this blouse length is uh, 12 inches and uh, upper breast is uh, 28 inches lower breast is uh, 30 inches and waist is uh, 24 inches first of all uh, we have to take a white sheet and uh, make a line half inch down it like this so here uh, blouse length is a 12 inch so we have to add one inch extra so i am marking uh, 13 inches here so it is a 13 inches and make a line here next we have to mark a shoulder here the blouse size is the 28 inches so divided by 6 it is the 4 3 by 4 inch it will come so here i am marking 4 3 by 4 inches and uh, neck wide is a 2 one fourth inch and two and a half inches is the shoulder and uh, how much we have to take a shoulder and here arm hold down we have to take uh, that much so i am marking four three by four inches like this and make a line here here i am taking shoulder is four three by four inch so adding half inch extra i am marking here five one fourth inch and make a slant line here like this and here also i am making a slant line so this is the four three fourth inch and this is the one inch next i am marking a breast point here upper breast is a 28 inches so divided by 4 it comes 7 inches adding half inch extra so it is a seven and half inch i am marking seven and half inches in this line and two and half inches is a seam elements this is a two and half inches this is a seven and half inches here I am extending the lines of uh, breast line and waist line. So using this thirst nail and making a curve here. This is nothing but an armhole round. Armhole round uh, must be like this. Breast size is a 28 divided by 4 it is 7 inches minus half inch. So it comes 6 and half inch. Now we are calculating it is comes 6 and half inch or not. So this is a 6 and half inch. 6 and half inch next waist is a 24 inch divided by 4 it comes a 6 so we are marking 6 here and 1 inch for back tucks and 2 and half inches the seam elements right and uh, join these two points make a line and here also so next we have to take a tape and uh, calculate this length it comes 7 inches and make a middle of the 7 inches 3 and half inches we have to mark and half inch extra for both sides and uh, 4 and half inch extra mark like this and make a slant line this is the back touch for the blouse so this is the 4 and half inch and once we have to make a tux knit it will come 6 inches next making the back neck so it is i am marking 8 inches up to 9 and half inches we have to mark no problem and i am marking here 2 and a half inches and make a box like this and mark half inch and use curve scale make a curve here so we do like this now it will come round neck for the back side and here we have to make a slant line so this is the back part of the blouse and next we have to cut like this here i am not cutting the back neck because if you want to do any neck designs so use the facing buckram then only we have to cut the back neck and finally back part comes like this next i am marking the front part take another white sheet and make a half inch like this mark like this and make a straight line and take a back part and uh, just uh, trace the back part like this so here we have to mark the seam elements next here we have to make a box and we have to take a half inch uh, inside uh, comparing with the back part so here we have to make a curve like this and next make a front neck 
so here I am marking the front neck up to 5 and half inches we have to take another half inch no problem and this is a 2 and half inch and make a line and uh, make a box like this next take a half inch here use curve scale and make a curve here and next here we have to mark a slack line so this is a two and a half inch next we have to point the breast pointer that is nothing but a dot one here upper breast is a 28 inches divided by 4 it will come 7 inches add one and a half inch here so it comes eight and a half inch now we have to mark like this eight and a half inches from the starting point and dot two is the uh, nothing but a full breast eight and a half inch is a dot one add a two and a half inch for that it will come 11 inches here two and a half inches total it comes uh, 11 inches right and uh, here we make a line here and here also we have to mark a line here so how we calculate this here 28 inches uh, upper bust uh, divided by 10 it will come 2.8 add half inch 3.3 so here we have to mark 3.3 .3 inches first we make a half inch line now we have to avoid that and we have to mark 3.3 uh, .3 inches like this and make a line and one inch mark here and one inch mark here so one inch mark both sides and make a slant line here like this this is a one inch and here lower breast is a 30 inches and divided by four it comes to seven and half inch add half inch it comes eight inches so in this line we have to mark eight inches and two and a half inches the seam elements so make a slant line here totally in this blouse lower breast only used here only and here we have to mark one inch and here one and a half inch this is the one inch and here one fourth inch and make a slant line here like this and here like this and here also finally this is the frame part once we keep this uh, paper cutting on the cloth now we have to take a cross piece and uh, the, here there is a no measurements for the shape belt um, just we have to take uh, one inch extra down and just uh, here one inch extra and uh, just we have to take a curve like this right and uh, here we have to cut the neck and the armhole like this so finally this is the front part this hand cutting link is uh, in the description box is there any doubts please uh, comment me on the comment section thanks for watching and please do like and share subscribe my channel thank you